while the vast majority of pregnancies are healthy and without complication, um, the earlier um, any particular complication uh, is caught, the more prepared we can be and to alleviate the risks, for example, of uh, a mom who has diabetes that could increase the risk that the um, baby uh, grows on the larger side, which can increase the risk of C-section, um, or if diabetes is um, very uncontrolled, uh, it, can, uh, it can make the baby sick after uh, it's born, uh, or in rare cases even can lead to stillbirth. Uh, so that's one example of uh, the utility of prenatal care. And another one uh, off the top of my head would be about 10% of the population has um, RH negative uh, blood type. And uh, if that's something that's caught early, we usually give those mothers um, as long as their spouses are not also RH negative, um, a shot at 28 weeks in postpartum so that they don't develop um, antibodies against uh, subsequent pregnancies, which could be quite dangerous. Among the issues that, that are detected early in prenatal care would be um, if there's any uh, genetic abnormalities with the, the baby, if there's any um, um, pre-existing health problems with the mother like uh, elevated blood pressure. Many times people um, only go to uh, the doctor uh, when they're young and healthy otherwise when they become pregnant and uh, they don't even know that they have certain pre-existing health conditions. Th hypo or hyperthyroidism, um, high blood pressure, pre-existing diabetes are things that oftentimes moms are um, in the community not knowing that they have them before they go into the um, prenatal visits and if we catch it early we're able to you know, uh, alleviate a lot of the risks associated with those conditions. As I mentioned most pregnancies are uh, uncomplicated um, and uh, low risk, uh, but uh, there still is a substantial uh, number of, of uh, cases where serious complications can happen when moms aren't available for prenatal care, um, including stillbirth, including uh, a blood pressure related condition called preeclampsia that only happens in pregnancy, which can cause uh, maternal seizures and organ damage and um, uh, increased risk of stillbirth and, and harm to the baby. On my first visit with patients, I usually like to take some extra time to address the nitty-gritty, you know, logistical questions that are often in the back of people's minds in terms of a healthy diet, in terms of activities and exercises, uh, in terms of occupational exposures and hazards, um, and uh, uh, I, I kind of have a methodical uh, list of things that I like to go over through the years that I've learned that are common questions that uh, can just help mothers approach their day-to-day -day, um, activities and choices during the pregnancy to um, uh, create the healthiest outcome possible. The number one uh, first step in, in ensuring a, a healthy and happy outcome for a pregnancy, I believe, is uh, trust and communication between the doctor and the patient. Um, and uh, uh, that's one of the benefits of um, early and, and regular prenatal visits is uh, there are certain conditions that can develop at certain portions of the pregnancy um, and having the trust in your doctor that they explain as they go along why they're doing various tests and uh, what the p possible outcomes are um, uh, goes a long way in, in ensuring a healthy outcome for the pregnancy.